Did you know that every transportation project in Utah goes through a rigorous planning and evaluation process before any construction starts? Let's take a closer look. Transportation projects are developed as a result of a long-range planning process as well as UDOT's work to preserve and maintain the state's transportation infrastructure. An important step in the project development process is performing an environmental analysis. When a project is federally funded or when other federal actions are required, then this analysis must follow the National Environmental Policy Act, also known as the NEPA process. The NEPA process ensures agencies make informed decisions. It requires disclosure of impacts to ecological, historic, cultural, economic, and social resources, both potentially adverse and beneficial. The NEPA process often benefits from public involvement and participation, which helps lead to better solutions. Once the needs of an area have been identified, UDOT then determines the level of NEPA analysis required, which could be a categorical exclusion, or CAT-X, an environmental assessment, called an EA, or an environmental impact statement, which we'll refer to as an EIS. A CAT-X is a type of environmental review process conducted for certain types of actions that, based upon past experience with similar actions, do not involve significant environmental impacts. However, when there is uncertainty whether significant impacts are expected, an Environmental Assessment, or EA, is prepared. If there will be significant impacts, or if the potential for significant impacts is likely, UDOT will begin an Environmental Impact Statement, or EIS. Now let's take a look at the EIS process, the most rigorous form of NEPA analysis. EIS process. The first phase in the EIS process is to determine the range of issues to be addressed in the study, also known as scoping. Early in the process, before decisions are made, public input helps identify transportation issues that should be addressed. Public involvement is critical to developing a reasonable range of alternatives. The next phase of an EIS is to determine the purpose and need. The need identifies the existing as well as future challenges that will need to be addressed. The purpose defines a statement of goals and objectives that the study will address. Next, potential transportation alternatives are developed. The alternatives to be evaluated are informed by previous studies, local planning efforts, input from the public, other stakeholders, from technical analysis of traffic, and safety data. The alternatives are then developed by the project team. These alternatives are presented to the public in various ways, such as public meetings or online where community input is gathered. After the initial alternatives are evaluated, the alternatives that meet the purpose and need will be carried forward for further environmental analysis. The NEPA analysis includes a review of environmental laws and regulations, such as the Endangered Species Act, the National Historic Preservation Act, the Clean Water Act, the Environmental Justice Executive Order, and many others. Experts will study potential impacts to resources, such as parks and schools, air, noise, wetlands, threatened and endangered species, and many others. Once potential impacts have been identified and evaluated, a draft EIS, or DEIS, is prepared. The public is provided an opportunity to review and comment on the potential transportation alternatives, as well as the potential impacts to the built and natural environment from these alternatives. The draft EIS will identify a preferred alternative based on its potential impacts and how well it meets the purpose and need. Public input on the information contained in the draft EIS is critical at this stage. Comments on the draft EIS are most helpful when they are concise and provide useful, relevant information for UDOT to consider before making its final decision. UDOT will then review public comments and conduct further analysis as needed to prepare the final EIS, or FEIS. UDOT will provide responses to substantive comments received during the official DEIS comment period in the FEIS. These responses can be in the form of changes in the FEIS, factual corrections, modifications to the analysis or the alternatives, new alternatives considered, or an explanation of why a comment does not require changes to the EIS. Once the FEIS is complete, UDOT will issue a Record of Decision, or ROD, which identifies the final selected alternative. The FEIS and ROD may be issued simultaneously if certain conditions are met. 
The final decision will rely on factual data, policy matters, and public input. This is a critical step required to move forward with implementing any transportation solution. Once the EIS process is complete, and when funding is identified and allocated, final design, right-of-way acquisition, and construction of a transportation project may begin. Commenting. Now that you understand a little more about the steps, let's address perhaps the most important contribution from the public during this process. Public comment. It's important to make sure your comments are clear, concise, and relevant to the project. Comments received early in the process, during the scoping phase, for example, are particularly helpful to inform purpose and need for the action. Early comments also contribute to developing a range of reasonable alternatives. In drafting comments, try to focus on the purpose and need of the proposed action, the proposed alternatives, the assessment of the environmental impacts of those alternatives, and the proposed mitigation of potential impacts. Comments that are solution-oriented and provide specific examples will be more effective than those that simply state support or opposition to the proposed action or alternative. Commenting is not a form of voting on an alternative. The number of negative comments an agency receives does not prevent an action from moving forward. Numerous comments that repeat the same basic message of support or opposition will typically be responded to collectively. In addition, general comments that state an action will have significant environmental effects will not help UDOT make a better decision unless the relevant causes and environmental effects are clearly explained. The NEPA EIS process has previously been implemented in a range of UDOT projects. Public input is a critical part of this process, and we encourage you to get involved. To find out about transportation projects in your area, visit udot.utah.gov.